It's actually cold today. It's nice. Just like your heart. That's true. It is. It's really nice. We've got a storm coming in. I know. Um, I was just saying, I hope it doesn't rain till f we're done. Mm -hmm. So we don't it's have the about, noise. About eight, but we don't yeah. get rain here a lot. And no. it's going to rain all day tomorrow. It's going to be nice and cool. It's finally going to feel like Christmas. Yep. For an hour. Yeah, for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> then it'll be 100 degrees the next day. Yep. Just Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Direction Idiots. This is Corbin. This is Rick. That's Corbin. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Juice Content. Follow us there for juicy shenanigans. Oh, and uh, congratulations. Did you hear? I did. Miss Universe? It was Universe. I did. Congrats on winning. It's the first time in like 21 years, something like that. Yeah, uh, maybe I think 23, something like that. Um, so, <laughs> as you can imagine. She'll be in a movie. We, she already has. Uh, we, she's uh, been inundated with requests. Of course. That's, so, we got... Uh, God, that's a foregone conclusion. I got like three short little clip videos here. Okay. Um, of... Danny Bonaducci? Yes. No. So, one tells us a little better, and then like a couple of her little speeches... Oh, okay. Uh, stuff like that. So and little then I excerpts think of a, her? A, a, from the actual show, and then the cultural costume? Cultural costume? I guess. I think they like they dress in that's, like, that's, whatever they, wherever they're from. Oh, a segment uh, in the actual competition? Segment in the actual oh, competition. Cool. Uh, not the swimsuit one. We're not doing that, guys. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> we don't actually watch this. Like, we, I, I, have you ever watched one? A uh, long time ago. Maybe a long time ago. Like when the girls were really little. Yeah. Um, and I've, I, it's been challenging for me when I've learned certain things over the years. It's just... Yeah. I, I, there are pros and cons to it for yeah. me that I just kind of totally like agree. just let it go. Uh, but I know, and I don't know if... Because we have reacted to like stuff like this, but it, I don't know if it's universe. Is Priyanka and Ashwarya, were they universe? I or were they... I thought they were world. I don't know. Miss World. I don't know. Shwarya was Miss World. I don't know the yeah. difference. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like in bodybuilding, you've got Mr. Universe and you've got... So, they're, they're universe is bigger. Uh, yes. Universe is bigger. Yes. Yeah. Universe is... My understanding is that Miss Universe is the bigger... Well, I know. Player. Yeah, because obviously the universe is bigger. Yeah, but that I doesn't necessarily it. mean that just because <laughs> it says World and Universe. You know, it's like yeah, Miss Planet. Miss Interdimensional... What? Exactly, there could be. There's probably some of the most beautiful well, they, beings uh, in the world are in Mars. the Andromeda system. Oh, you think so? Yep. Andromeda. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this first... Actually, it's in the Androni system. Oh, hi, honey. I love you. <laughs> She's like, she seems real yeah, impressed. Right. Real impressed. Um, so this first one is, who is, say her name for me, please. Hama Sandu. I hope that's correct. 21-year-old uh, monocrowned Miss Universe. So this gives us just a slight bit of information about her, very brief. Um, so you can get a little bit, we can get a little... And yes, I'm sure you guys are putting it in the comments. We know about the controversies surrounding the event, people who wanted it to go, people who didn't want it to go. That's not why we're talking about this. We just get, we react to what people request. Yep. And so we don't know anything about this lady. And this is culturally impacting and for so India, so there you go. That's why we are here. Here we go. Duct, any relation to the other Sanjay? The older I get, the younger Miss Universe looks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a March baby! She was born in 2000. <laughs> that makes me feel okay, old. Okay, we again. <laughs> Welcome to the club! What's going on? Going on? Punjabi. Yeah, I knew that. She's Punjabi. She is Punjabi. Yeah, yeah she that's is. That's exciting. Global warming. That's good. As she should be. Yeah, so she's been in a few Punjabi movies. Of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently she was thrilled because Priyanka gave her a shout out. Oh, did she? Yeah, on Twitter. And apparently, like, Priyanka's her... Like, 
I mean, why would you? Hero. Say yeah, of course. Be? That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, it makes me feel young. Any, I mean, old. Anytime anybody's born in 2000 and they're like an adult and doing stuff. I remember. It we, shouldn't make me. I was born in 1991, but it was the 1900s. Well, you, you <laughs> may, you're getting close to the age when I realized I was watching professional sports mm. and players were playing and I was watching them and I thought, I biologically could be their dad. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not at I, you're no. You're getting close. No. Yes you are. No. Yes because you are. At Biologically in, at least in the NFL they are usually around twenty twenty one. Professional so sports. I would have been ten years old. Yeah, professional sports. You're getting close, my friend. <laughs> no, it's another decade. <laughs> that is a long time. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so uh, do, 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 do. let's do this is the uh, national, competition. Uh, this is the uh, little snippet of the costume. So I think okay. we saw a little snippet of it actually in that video. Okay. Um, so here we go. This is our little... This is something that I never saw in beauty pageants prior where there was cultural representation and costuming that I remember. So this is a, a the, cool The inclusion. knowledge I have of th this stuff is Miss Congeniality. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was talent. Yeah. Uh, bathing suit, formal yeah. wear, and then interview. Yeah. That's what it was long what back when I used to was watch that Miss it America a long time ago. I think it was Miss America, but I think it was also Miss Universe. Okay. I don't remember Miss Universe doing... Maybe they always have, and I'm just... Here's her uh, national costume. The one I watched the most was Miss America. Now, is she representing Punjab, or is she representing India as a whole? Because obviously those costumes are very different. India's always had some of the coolest, especially for, for females. Yeah. Like, just the, the saris and what they do for their bridal. Like, the... Kind of looks like Bronco a little bit, honestly. Yeah, she does have similarities in her yeah. facial features. Her nose is, I think, pretty similar. That's cool. I would like to see all the other, like, uh, Me too. The different countries. Me too. Uh, they're in their national costume. I like that part of it. I, I really That's, like that. I, I, I much prefer that to, like, the the, the swimsuit. Uh, <laughs> like, it's, it it's almost feels, like, dirty to, like... Like, this is 2021, almost 2022, and we're gawking at women in swimsuits? It, it's like, really? It's objectifying. <laughs> it's, like, it's strange it really to me. really is, Like, yeah. that, that's still a thing. Uh, it really is. I much prefer that over the, the and, swimsuit and one. And it's weird, because I remember watching it with the girls when they were really, really little, right? Because they loved watching Miss America. Oh, I thought you said little girls in swimsuits. Like, what the no, fuck? No, okay, no, Okay, I understand. No. I, understand. I, thought, <laughs> I understand. I was just confused. And <laughs> when the girls would come out, we would always talk about... The difference in the body shape. We would also talk about how some girls looked unhealthy in their yeah, their so weight, skinny, yeah. and celebrate the girls that looked more well rounded and healthier, mm -hmm. uh, and do the best. But I, I, over the years, I have I'd say at least ten years ago, fifteen probably, I stopped watching them because it just felt I couldn't justify it. It just felt this, particularly the swimsuit. Yeah, the part I was like, this does. Doesn't feel right. I this much, feels objective. I much prefer the the cultural representation. I thought I like absolutely that a lot. Absolutely. Uh, so this is if a, that replaced it, that's freaking fantastic. So this is a little speech of hers. Hopefully, Steve Harvey answered, uh, said the winner correctly. I'm, <laughs> I'm interested that Steve Harvey's hosting this because he said he can't be friends with women. Is that what he said? Straight up. Well, maybe he's not friends. He just says there's a job. Yeah, but it's a weird <laughs> spokesperson to have from his universe. Did he really say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has yeah, said he funny. can't be a friend with a woman because there's too much possible sexual overtones. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is, get it. this is her uh, uh, statement on climate change. Many people think climate change is a hoax. What would you do to convince them otherwise? Honestly, my heart breaks to see how nature is going through a lot of problems and it's all due to our irresponsible behavior. And I totally feel that this is the time to take actions and talk less because our each action could either kill or save nature. Prevent and protect is better than repent and repair and this is what I'm trying to convince you guys today. Thank you. Apparently she's like a big climate change activist Good as for well, her. like on, on the side. Good for as her. As well, and then the, the final one here. The, so these were all in little clips. There was no like one video. <laughs> so right, I yeah. had to kind of uh, put them all put together. Them all together. And this is her final statement okay. uh, from the entire thing before she inevitably... We're not reacting to her winning mode because I already know she won. Uh, yeah, like, we know she won. <laughs> and I saw Priyanka did a clip uh -huh. of that. So I got to see the yeah. moment, we already which know. is always fun to watch because you see the look in the eyes. Feel happy. And I always feel bad for the ones that don't. Oh, yeah. It's always... They all have to stand up there. Yeah. And... I'm so happy, so happy for you. For you. <laughs> so this is her final statement. The biggest pressure the youth of today is facing is to believe in themselves. To 
Know that you are unique and that what makes you beautiful. Stop comparing yourselves with others and let's talk about more important things that's happening worldwide. I think this is what you need to understand. Come out, speak for yourself because you are the leader of your life. You are the voice of your own. I believe in myself and that's why I'm standing here today. Thank you. You can see the inherent internal strength of character she's got. Yeah. With just that clip right there. You can see how uncomfortable Steve Harvey is being next to Very, her. very, yeah. It's just very strange. <laughs> it is. There's an actual video clip of him talking about it. My, my buddy Rich and I were just, just two days ago going over it. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit older, but he talked about, he just straight up says, I can't have women as friends because there's, I won't have the risk of there being a possible sexual encounter with somebody in some way because there's always going to be, no matter who it is, men and women would always have a sexual undertone. And I was like, uh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> and it, it makes me... <laughs> I can understand, like, if you're married and, like, you don't want to, like, go somewhere with a woman by that's yourself because that can look different. That's different. But, like, to say, like, I can't have a female that's a friend, like, I can't be friends with you, and Johnny, so. Right, yeah, you guys can't be friends. <laughs> what? Get out. <laughs> no, on the one hand, it's Super like, dude, weird, right? dude c can control. And then I also feel bad, I feel bad for his wife. Mm. Like, that's not a really comforting thing for a husband to be saying and the wife be going, oh, well, keep him away from all the women. <laughs> But I, I do, yeah, I could see the she seems, yeah, depth yeah. of character Somebody and said she's passion. Like big, she's been like big in climate change, which is great. Cool. That's, I mean, that's extremely common, especially for people of my generation, especially younger, obviously. I, that's, it's going to affect us and people younger than us way more. I, at this point, I mean, there's a lot of things I can't comprehend that go on in the world right now, but this is one of them. I cannot even begin to comprehend how far into the ground you have to have your head yeah. to ignore the realities of what's gone on with the planet for the past 30 years. Yeah. When what's currently... There's evidence in your face. Yeah, step outside. It's that simple. It's like, wow. And we need more people and a platform to be vocal about it. So, so congrats to her to and congrats. congrats to India because I mean, when anything like this happens, India yeah. celebrates as a country. It's like a sense of national pride. Gives attention to them um, as so they should have it. That's awesome. I hope she uses her platform for good and... and, and Furthering her platform, like helping climate change, and I hope she, if she follows in the footsteps of Ashwarya and Priyanka, you know they they went from being beauty pageant contestants to being pretty darn solid actresses. Mm -hmm. So I wish the best for her. Yeah, congratulations. Josh!